Alrighty guys, so there's actually a new update in Anime Fighters, update 37, Slayer's Corpse. We have one new island, Slayer's Forest, we have 12 new fighters, one new raid. Level cap increased to 430, incubator increased to 210, so that's pretty cool. And then a bunch of other little bug fixes. So now, let's actually come to the new world and let's unlock it. I don't think there's a new divine either, but uh, that's fine. And now that we have this new world, let's check it out. Wait, real quick, let me just double check that there's not a new, like, secret or divine. Yes, there is no new divine, so I'm not really sure what the point of grinding this egg is i was actually playing to just release a video on this game but the problem is the update just came out and i was planning to actually get a full team of double lucky fighters like as you can see here i'm actually incubating this one or limit breaking this so i could actually make it a double passive or limitless and another thing i actually have to do is i have to start doing some time trials because my max fighters is eight and some people have 10 and it's because i don't have like the ultimate time trial done and the impossible one so we gotta get those done and yeah i just don't think there's any point to even grind this star because you know well there's just no need to actually but you know what we're still gonna open anyways so let's turn off our you know what no i'll keep it like that all right let's max open one time this egg is pretty expensive how much does it cost to actually like multi-open like how many multi-open tokens because that's another reason why i probably wouldn't farm this world so yeah right now i have 12.e and it's 2.3 quadrillion or q i don't remember what the other egg was but this is pretty expensive i wouldn't recommend using this if you're trying to go for a divine or the new divines i probably wouldn't use this machine i'll use the other one but i mean it's cool so i should actually be able to finish this within like this weekend basically if i just stay in the time chamber all day so that's pretty cool now guys i had a really big problem as you guys can see i have a bunch of lucky three fighters but the only problem is i can't make them limitless because they're all commons and some of them are like rares but to actually make a limitless fighter you need to have them like over a mythical i think a mythical rarity so that kind of sucks basically i have to get a whole new team of luck fighters and i think i also have to get a whole new team of like draconics so yeah it really does suck but it is what it is and that's pretty much why i'm limit breaking these fighters also another thing is i have to use that clone machine before it goes away another problem i have with this game is that i don't have enough time and honestly i feel like the clone machine should stay in the game forever because like what's the point of getting rid of it honestly it's not like it's really easy to clone fighters anyways it takes a long time so you might as well just like keep it in the game plus it would probably bring them more robux but uh yeah as soon as these fighters are done hopefully it's done before monday i think that's when the event actually ends so as soon as these fighters are actually done i'm gonna immediately put in my uh dazzle hopefully i can get it limit broken and then when my dazzle's finished in this i'm gonna put it into the uh what's that machine called the clone machine also guys i hate asking you guys for stuff but i will literally trade you anything for some requiem tokens or even clone tokens because i don't know what has been going on with my luck right now but the dupe machine is literally a scam i'm telling you i literally put in like i think it was like 50 requiem tokens that i got from the dungeon i put it in and the first time i did it i got a bomb the second time i did it i got a bomb in two tries the third time i did it i got a bomb in the first try it was so bad i literally had to cut that whole like segment out of the video because i was so mad and uh yeah i do think that this dupe machine is really annoying but yeah as soon as this event is over on tuesday i'm gonna start trying to farm some time trials because now that we have the auto attack farming time trials and dungeons should be pretty easy actually and let me see if i actually do a dungeon right now oh i could all right nice so let's definitely do the summer island dungeon uh let's do a large and friends only there we go and hopefully we can get a bunch of requiem tokens from this i'm not even sure if you could but we'll see Alrighty, guys so we finished the dungeon here i don't remember exactly what i had before but all i know is that we got almost 200 passive tokens we got like 20 requiem tokens and we got uh, one more clone token so it is possible to actually get clone tokens in the dungeons i did also have these a super lucky drop boost or super drop boost too so that's something also did we get any summer raid shards where are the summer ones at okay so we still have like nothing so that kind of sucks but yeah let's actually come over here to the incubators and let's actually upgrade these things now i know it's gonna cost a lot because it's like 10 upgrades to the incubators i think and we are probably going to go broke yep we're definitely gonna go broke here um actually we didn't even go down that much it was only negative four so now let's put in a fighter um i guess we could put in one of our new ones or our best ones what is our best fighter here our best fighter is our diarab unfortunately that's actually really really sad because like i should have had way better fires right now let's put in our diarab and let's see how fast this levels up Ooh, okay so one minute and it goes already to level 421 so that's pretty fast let me come over here and upgrade all these other incubators as well honestly i thought these incubators would cost more to upgrade i'm not gonna lie to you at least we're able to upgrade all of them plus now that there's a new ward i'm able to grind even more yen so that's cool too wait why in the world did i just put that diarab in the incubator the diarab isn't even that good anymore i should have put in this taffy here also speaking of taffy and living empties i definitely need to get more of these guys because i only have like one of each or i have two taffies and one living empty so i can't even like make them limitless we definitely have to do that but maybe not right now because the dazzles are a lot better but yeah now that we have all the incubators maxed out let's come back to time chamber and let's sit in here for about maybe i don't know, like five hours maybe less than that something like that oh wait no before we actually afk grind what is the next time trial or challenge trial, whatever it's called so the next one is in two minutes i definitely have to get to room 50 in this one because i do need another fighter equipped that would help me so 
so much, especially when it comes to my luck and my draconics. Also, even with all my lucky fighters equipped, my luck boost is only 21 or plus 21. That could also be because of the fact that I have no artifacts, but in general, my luck is pretty bad. So is my drops. Like, my drops is terrible. Even with all my draconic fighters, it's only like 30 something. And I see some people have 100 and something. So, yeah, it's not looking too good, guys. Also, if anyone wants to trade, let me know in the comments because I am planning to trade some people for some of their things. And I have 48 illusion tokens. What do illusion tokens do again? Oh, that's right. They transform fighters into the other fighters. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to do that later. Not right now, though. And yeah, so here are the time trials open. So let me do this time trial real quick. And hopefully, we can actually get to level 50 here. Okay, it's almost time. We're almost there. We're at room 49. I'm not gonna lie to you. We barely made it, mostly because, you know, our good fighters are in the incubators. And there we are, room 50. Let's click this. And now we have the badge. So let's equip another fighter here. Bam. And now we have nine fighters. So we're getting there, guys. Holy moly. We got a lot of drops from this. Wait a second. Is time trials really that good? That is actually insane. I'm honestly shocked. I didn't know you could get that many shards from time trials. We're definitely gonna have to start doing time trials some more. But yeah, what I wanted to do, guys, was I wanted to actually make a team of light speeds. I've been hearing people tell me that light speed is extremely good. And I did actually miss the thing or whatever when the servers were glitched and like you were able to get it like instantly. I kind of missed that. So we're gonna have to go back and get it. And yeah, right now I have about 360 summer passive tokens. I could definitely farm more in the dungeon, but you know, the dungeon is locked right now for me. Wait, is it? Okay, I don't think it is. For some reason, I thought it was locked, but I guess it isn't. Is there really no cooldown on dungeons? Okay, I just did a dungeon and it's letting me do one again. So I'm not really sure what that's about. But yeah, guys, I am honestly a little bit shocked that you're able to get that much, especially with the super drop boost or whatever. Oh, shoot, wait, can I leave this real quick? I do actually want to get another super drop boost. But yeah, I'm just gonna farm time trials and then we're gonna come back and try to grind some light speeds. Alrighty, so now we have 800 of these shards, which is actually insane. And this is honestly perfect because all I need to do now is get a mythical from Hero University. And that should be really easy. All I have to do is like roll one time, literally. There we go. We got like all mythicals and we got a shiny mythical as well. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, we really don't want a shiny mythical. And now all we have to do is go to passives here. And where is that mythical I just got? Uh, I don't remember what this looked like. Okay, here it is, the hero shining. So let's put this in and let's auto reroll. I really do want, oh, wait a second. No, 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 I'm doing this wrong. I have to go to summer island and then use the summer tokens or summer reroll tokens. Whoops. All right, there we go. And we're actually going for flaming, relax, general, and light speed. Why are we going for these? Um, well, I honestly just want light speed, but if I get any of these, I'll be okay. I will live. So let's start rerolling. Oh yeah, also I bought the game pass and I bought the auto farm game pass. So, you know, it helps me out a lot. I definitely recommend for you to get these two game passes because oh my goodness, these are probably the best game passes in the game. Like it saves so much time and uh, yeah, hopefully we're able to get this. Alrighty, so we ended up getting a flaming. That's something that um, I'd rather not have, but you know, we'll take it. Let's just roll again here. Alrighty, nice. We got something I really didn't want. Let's reroll again. Well, guys, we tried and we were not able to get it. So that kind of sucks. But on the bright side, we do have a ton of Hero University shirts. And let's actually come to the passive reroll machine and let's reroll on these fighters. I do actually want some lucky fighters. So let's get to auto reroll. Let's select, um, let's select all of these and the lucky three, draconic, leader three, and solid gold. I don't think general is even in here. Where is general at? Is general even in this or is that only summer world? I think that's only summer world. So we'll just stick with these. Let's start rerolling and hopefully everybody gets something, man. Oh, shoot. Wait, I did not mean to use my tokens. I meant to use my shards. Whoops. All right, there we go. Alrighty, so we finished rolling and we were only able to get a solid gold and a ghostly, which is two fighters or two passives I really did not want. So yeah, let's just sit in this time chamber for a little bit and let's see how far we can actually level up our fighters. Right now, it did actually go up about seven levels, which is actually insane. I am really curious how good this thing is going to be. And you know what I just realized? This is leveling up extremely fast. Wait, what's the max level cap again? 430 and this is leveling up extremely fast. So guys, we may actually be able to be finished in like less than an hour, honestly. Like, look at this. This is already one up a level. So we should be done pretty fast. And yeah, let's see how good our fighters are. Alrighty, guys. So our fighters are actually finished leveling up. And it's only been about 30 minutes since I last recorded or less than that. So it really hasn't been a long time. And now let's see how good our fighters are, which aren't even the best in the game. So this one's already 2.9 Y, which is pretty good. And our sensitive slayer is also 2.5 Y. How good is the best divine at this level? So the best level is this, and it's 720 Z. And I think if I had like double blessings on it, it'll probably be around 6.9 Y, maybe even like 10 Y. So that's pretty insane. I'm not gonna lie to you. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will try to post some more anime fighters content, maybe on Monday or Tuesday, sometime early in the week though. And yeah, hopefully by then our fighters are actually done incubating and we'll hopefully have a full team of you know lucky fighters lucky three fighters also before our next video i also do plan on grinding a bunch of time shots so we should be maxed on time trial shards and well every single world shard in general and that's gonna be pretty cool to see so stay tuned for that and uh yeah if you guys haven't already make sure to like button subscribe so you never miss a video 
and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.